Hawks with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and we're standing here at San Diego Bay National Wildlife Refuge. Doesn't look much like a wildlife refuge. It's a salt evaporation facility, South Bay Salt Works. It's a 130 year old business that's been happening here in South Bay. Uh, but we acquired this as a wildlife refuge in 1999 and we've been managing it for it, not in the sense of for wildlife here in this particular area, but out in the further ponds out there, we have migratory birds that nest out there on the salt pond levees. Um, we get like a hundred thousand terns that come and nest here every year in the summertime. So, um, so the salt works operates, it protects the birds by being close to the public and it works really well as a wildlife refuge because we don't really do anything. We just let the salt works operation happen and the birds are perfectly fine with that. And so how did ESRM help you oh. in, your, in your current, current gig? <laughs> so, uh, specifically speaking, the coastal management class and um, different eco ecology classes and environmental science at um, Kelsey Channel Islands really helped prepare me because day one on the job, I was involved in a habitat restoration project, a wetland habitat restoration project to be specific, in these salt ponds. We were returning 200 acres of salt ponds back into a wetland. And I was sitting at the table with engineers and land managers and planners and nonprofits, and we were all sitting around talking about engineering and how that was all going to work and, and shake out. And I was actually able to like keep up with the conversation. It was super interesting because everything that I had learned in class, I was sitting at the table with those players, and it was actually happening. So it was a pretty cool experience. Cool. So, so, so if you were uh, somebody entering ESRM today. Um, what would you? What would, what would your advice to be to be a, a, a new mm. ESRM students right now? A new ESRM student right now. Let's see. If if you were going to be an ESRM student right now, I would definitely dive into the world of conservation and um, environmental engineering. Um, I think those two things are colliding right now, where we're having to seriously catch up on the amount of land that's been degraded over the years and restore it back to the way it was. And I think without um, a passion for conservation and knowledge of engineering and environmental compliance and all that stuff, then um, if you have those backgrounds, I think you could get find a really good job, and um, and you'll and also you'll be fulfilled. Like you'll actually have a sense of accomplishment that you're helping turn back the clock and basically catch up for all the you know habitat degradation we've done over the last 50, 80 years. Cool. All right. Yeah. Gainfully employed. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs>